Good morning, good morning, good morning, Roger. Good evening, Nancy. How are you guys? Happy. Hey. Uh, good. So we're talking to uh, Roger Singson. The one and only. The one and only music artist, uh, composer. composer. And yeah. uh, we'll be talking about how do you create music, you know? How do you create your own jingle uh, during this time? And um, for those people watching on the live stream and watching on the replay, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Roger. Good morning. Ah, good morning, Anton. And good morning. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I can't hear you. Uh, yes, now, uh, so hopefully you have a better connection in a while. So, Yon. Yeah, um, right, right now I can hear you. Okay, if you guys are watching on the live stream or watching on the replay, please, please uh, join us in our discussion. If you want to create and publish your own music, you know, in Spotify, Apple Music, and whatever, and create your own music, and towards the end, We'll be featuring the Adobo song "Cha Cha Cha." Yay! <laughs> of course, composed right. and uh, by Roger Singson. Um, and so, please join us. Uh, my name is Antoine Diaz, and this is a special episode with Nancy Reyes Lumen and Roger Singson, music artist. Uh, can you do a short, a short? All right. So, Roger, paano ba nagsimula ang career mo to creating music? How are you, how did you get started making music? Uh, uh, okay. Um, you know I I started by learning chords, how to play chords. Al alam mo yung jingle keys? A long time ago, meron silang jingle keys. Oh, and nakalagay doon oh. yung piano chords. A alam mo, ginagawa ko lang is I tried to sing kasi mahilig ako kumanta nung bata ako. It's grade school and everything. So I tried to learn the chords. That's how I started. I, I, I had two years of piano, classical piano. Two years lang of piano play. Sabi ko, tinamad na ako. <laughs> Sabi ko, ayoko. Nakakabasa ako ng nota, but I'm not really good in note reading. So mahilig ako sa chords. chords. Then I make a component. I started from that. And then my first song was actually a copycat of a certain chords ng Tagalog song, existing Tagalog song. So may chords na siya. Iniba ko yung melody. I remember that. But even before in grade school, the, the, well, we have a Filipino class. The teacher will ask you to read poems. Yung libro. Ang ginagawa ko, kumakanta ako. Nilalagyan ko ng melody out of ano ha, ano yan, on impromptu ha, hindi learned ha, impromptu, kakantahin ko yung, yung, yung uh, tula na tumitingin na lang sa akin yung mga kaklasiko. Uh, tapos, palakpakan naman sila, no? sabi ko. So, I started from there. So, so medyo na we've done siguro sila. And then I made my first song based on the on the chords of an existing song. Uh, ayoko sabihin yung kanta, baka mahuli ako, pero uh, <laughs> pinalitan, ko yung, pinalitan ko yung melody and that's how you start. You start from something, you're adapting a song and then you make your own song. And that's it. Okay. And then um, uh, that's me as far as my musical career is concerned. No? If you will call it a career. But for me, it's actually more of a hobby. The only time when I, I get revenues is when I do jingles. Jingles for companies. So, yun na yung sideline ko. Okay. But, lahat yan, iba-iba naman yung, ano, iba-iba namang approaches yan. Eh. You can do film scoring. You can do, make a song composition. You just uh, make, you can also make jingles, no? Uh, iba-ibang klaseng approaches yan for music. 
Which is the hardest right. to do, jingles or um, the others? Uh, okay, the more the most challenging uh, type of music uh, making is probably the film scoring. Or uh, why? Because the film scoring is actually you will be doing the music on the spot. Kasi when you okay. ibibigay sa yung final edit ng film. Although I'm I'm sure meron na akong oh no no pag-aaral no they give me a script before so na-visualize mo na ko ano yung mangyayari sa eksena no but then the only time that you start composing really the music you have a keyboards there you have a laptop you you have the display screen is when you see all the frames of the movie from start to finish mm -mm. and then you compose on the spot on what you see on screen. And that's right. kind of challenging. Kind of challenging because you are not just doing the music on your own. You are helping the director convey his message. That's his film. Eh. It's not uh -huh. naman your, you, I, you cannot make your own kind of music and titina mo, uh -oh. it will it fit to the, no, hindi eh. You're just helping the, the director to convey the message. Is that and what you call of... the musical score? Musical yeah, score? yeah. Musical oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Pero it's, it's... It's... So, um, no, I, I just wanted to say hi lang muna to some people. No? So, si, si Simple is watching. Hi, Chef Mike. Meron na bang jingle si Chef Mike, this Simple? Baka meron na or wala. Uh, and to all those people watching in Kumu, hi, hello guys. So for those people who wanted to create your own jingle or your own music, guys, listen to this. No? So Roger, uh, how do you get started? Paano ba? Nagsisimula ba yan sa lyrics? O nagsisimula ba yan sa, <laughs> sa tune? Uh, or in filmmaking, it starts with the video, di ba? Paano ba? How to yeah, get yeah. started? Uh, okay. it, it, it depends on what uh, music project you're going to do. Sa, sabihin na lang natin, let's start with jingles. Okay. Jingles are... Yeah kind of uh, promotional 30 seconders no uh, the ad agency will contact you okay and sometimes and most of the time they do the copy kasi alam nila ko ano yung produkto na what so is supposed lyrics, to sell no the lyrics no yes yes yung lyrics uh, and then they will explain to you uh, we want it anong peg niyan uh, ang peg niyan parang uh, you know, parang very pop, uh, R&B, or whatever. So they will explain to you, and then, uh, yun, based on the lyrics, kagawa ka na ng music mo, no? Um, ako kasi, I, I don't go, some people, uh, depende, no, sa mga composers, no? some people will try to make patterns of chords. Gumagamit sila, ito yung tunog ng chords, tapos lalagyan na lang nila yung melody, based on what they see sa lyrics, no? Ako kasi, I don't even use the piano at the start. I don't use the piano. Actually, I read the lyrics, and then I, I sing the melody. Ano yung naiisip kong melody? Okay? I never thought about chords or whatever. Hindi ko muna iniisip yan. Uh, binabasa ko yung lyrics, tapos hahanap ako ng melody. Yon. Gagawa mo na ako ng melody. After that, kapag nagawa ko na yung isang melody stanza na yan, pupunta ako sa piano. Then I will try to fit which chord is appropriate to the melody. So now una yung melody before the chords. Okay. Some people do it differently. Eh. Some people will make a pattern of chords. Chan chan. Chan, chan. Tapos gagawa sila ng melody after the pattern of chords. So the melody takes second place. Kaya ako, I would turn myself as a melody composer. <laughs> Kaya Which if you is melody word, composer. Mas, that yes. is the legit na talagang composing yon, Rather than just yeah. connecting chords. Uh -huh. Oo. Uh, yes, oo. And then, sa jingle kasi it's you are satisfying a client, which is the ad agency. No? Kung anong sinabi ng ad, uh, uh, ano yan, you are 
parang you cannot do what whatever you want to do. You have to see kung anong gusto ng ad agency. Okay. So, importante yon And uh, and then after that, you record. Usually, recording studio yan. <laughs> they have the money. They have the money. And it's a very lucrative business ah, kapag jingles ang pinag-uusapan. Now, with paano, regards to make... Uh, yeah? Own, yeah, paano kung own music? Yeah. Ownership. Uh, if you got paid, it's going to be with the publisher. Ne? Usually, the ad agency ah, so owns it. That's why I cannot... Music, how do you start? Pag sarili mo music? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, it's not a jingle. Uh, uh, you're talking about a song? Oh, if you want to yes. make your own song, okay, it depends. Ano yung talent mo? Are you good in lyrics? Are you good in music? Okay, are you good in arranging? Okay, uh, composing is different from arranging. Uh -oh. yeah. What's the difference? Uh, yung compose is, okay, composing is you do the melody and the basic chords. You make the song, okay? When you say composer, because most likely you're the music composer. And then uh, if you're the lyricist, then you actually have music and lyrics as a composer. No? Pero ako kasi, I'm more of a music composer. Alam ni Nancy yan. So that's what happened to Adobo. I don't... Oh, paano? Paano nag-start yung Adobo? <laughs> paano ba, Nancy? You still remember? Actually, ako yata nag-message nag sa'yo, sa eh, di ba? Oh. Nancy, gawa, ga, ako, di ba? Nag, gawa naman tayo ng kata. Kasi I, I've been hearing some of the, your works. I think you did some commercials for Aristocrat or something, right? Some jingles. So sabi ko, ang ganda-ganda ng boses ni Nancy. Wow! Baka naman pe wow! <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh, baka... Ba, kuha yan, a singer? Kaya lang ma-feature ko yan. Kasi ako as a Spotify artist, I, I try to get new singers. If you're gonna look at my songs, some songs I sang, ako mismo kumanta, but really I'm not a really good singer. I mean, I know that there are a lot of singers out there, but they just need materials. So, so when I saw Nancy, Nancy, gawa naman tayo ng kanta. And si, syempre, uh, what she could think of is, of course, number one is ad about adobo. So she gave me some lyrics. Okay. And that's so, my lyrics muna. My lyrics oh, muna. Um, nah, yes. Yes. The, the, actually, the lyrics, really, if you're gonna read the lyrics, it's like, there's already a tune. Parang may kanta na. Doon mo lang. All I have to do is just, uh, you know, try to make it bigger, no? And make it pa konting Broadway-ish. Uh, parang musical play. <laughs> Di ba? I think it turned out that way, right? And kasi I made it a poem. Kasi ang lyrics siya nakakatawa, sabi ko. Poem. Nilagyan ko ng mga rhyming. Right. Mga, ano, madali. Right. And and then there's also the 5, 6, 7, 8 already. So I know it's gonna sound like, ah, kailangan may cha-cha music tayo dito. So, <laughs> it's it's all there. It's a, it's so easy. Parang it, it, it flows... No, so easily, spontaneously. Okay. Um, and that's why, uh, for the composers out there. Hmm. And then after that, you, you do the technical part. And that's the recording. Okay. There's going to be some changes. Uh, the next part of the composing, if you have composed the music, is the arreglo. You arrange the song. Now, what do you mean when you say arrange the song? You have to put a lot of instruments. Uh, you have to put the drums, the pizzicato strings, or whatever, whatever you envision mo, uh, when you compose the song. After the composition of the song, you try to look for instruments that will complement the song. Okay, that's the hardest part. Okay, when you're doing the arreglo, it's like you're composing for about 10 instruments. Parang gumagawa ka ng sariling uh, uh, melody, bawat, oh, bawat mel, oh no, instead 10 instruments. For example, if you're using 10 instruments, you're doing separate uh, melodies, notes for each of the instruments. So that is why I say that arreglo is more, much harder. 
you have to have talent also when you're doing arranging. Kaya nga, I think most of the arrangers are also composers. Eh. Kasi, yeah. how, will they be, uh, how will they make a counterpoint melody for this song? You have to compose. So, and then all of these 10 compositions will have to be merged into one to harmonize, to make a balance. Kailangan balance siya para makagawa ka ng magandang kanta. Alright? And uh, it requires a little bit of talent. Okay? I, kasi kung wala kang talent at the start, parang mahirap. Even if you're trained musically, eh, kaka kahit na nag aral ka sa Conservatory of Music, for example, some of them will play an instrument, be part of the orchestra. Pero pag pinsalabi, can you make a composition? Hindi nila kaya. They can play violin well, they can play cellos well, ang galing-galing nila. Pero when they ask you, can you make a composition? Can you make your own notes? Or, Hindi nila kaya. Okay. So it's sometimes it requires a certain talent which you have to hone through the years. Okay. Ako nga, I tell you, I had only two years of piano. <laughs> two years <laughs> of classical piano. After that, tinamad na ako. And until now, it's it's harder for me to read notes. Though I can I can read notes, but it takes a while for me to read notes. So I'm not classically trained. But I, have I, a I can do uh, so, yes. Do you sometimes go to sleep with a melody in your mind? Yes. Babuti, you ask that question, Nancy. I dream about songs. Meaning, when wow. do dreams happen? You usually at the ano kapag magigising ka na sa umaga, di ba? A ako kasi my dreams wow. are usually yung pagising ka na sa umaga. I don't know why, no? Pero Sometimes I would dream of a song, may melody na sa mind ko. And then pagkagising ko, I have to record it sa cellphone. You know why? I will forget about it eh. Madali akong makalimot eh. So, kapag mm. pagising ko, may melody na sa mind ko. I have to record it sa cellphone ko. So that I, I will remember the tune. And then I will have to propagate it. Yun lang. Sometimes I dream about that many times. Many yeah. times, ewan ko anong nangyayari sa akin. So, and, and it's so crazy that I'm already like going to 60. Sorry, eh. sinabi ko yung age ko. <laughs> but during, <laughs> during these years, I was even more creative. Mas ang dami yeah. kong ginawang during the pandemic. Can, when did the pandemic start? Yes, last year, right? Last year. I was years. able to... I was able to to create more songs than what I've been making during the past few years. So sabi ko, sabi ko kay David, ano ba nangyayari sa akin? Pare, atang kapanahunan ko na. <laughs> I'm trying to put all of these songs together sa Spotify, sa internet. Para lang may makaalala sa akin, siguro, if something happens to me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm doing... You have something like 200 ano? songs to your credit na. Wow. And dami na, and dami na. And I, I really don't care if if there will be a black, there will be black pastors or whatever. Ako kasi, I'm a selfish composer. Selfish ba yun? Tawag doon. I just make songs for myself. Uh, it's right. not really, oh, kailang, kailangan mag-hit to. Marami, kailangan mag-1 million hits or whatever. I will never be like that of an artist. I just wanted to create my songs. And if I listen to my songs, wow, ang sarap sa puso. It's not monetary. Eh? Wala ka na masyado makukuha sa Spotify oh. or whatever. So, uh, we, we'll... Can we talk about Spotify? Kasi a lot of people are stuck okay. sometimes no? uh, handling technology. Because you publish in Spotify, Apple Music, ano ba ba? I think you publish in all the music platforms. Eh. So can you share yes, with okay. us? Paano ba yan? You, and paano yung revenue? You cannot... <clears throat> say sige. Okay. Ako sa revenue. Okay. We will talk about that. Um, okay. Music distribution. Before, we used to have CDs, right? And you, you're earning like 400, yes. 500. You have to be with the publisher. You have to have a publisher para they can publish your CDs, make the CDs. And the revenue that you get is how much? 
350, 450. All right. Ngayon, medyo pawala na yung mga CDs. Although I, ha I have a quite collection of CDs. I still keep the CDs because they're <laughs> so nice to listen. Now, it's streaming. Streaming. So, first of all, you have to have your uh, song recorded. Kailangan maganda recording mo. And you have to have a... Uh, some people, they used studios before, di ba? Recording studios. Eh, ngayon, yeah. pandemia na. Nobody wants to go to a recording studio. You can just... Tanoy mo kay Nancy kung paano niya nandirecord yung kang boses niya. Sa loob Nancy, ng ano, ng closet. <laughs> oh, sa loob ng closet. See, sa loob ng closet. Using what? Using what? The, the phone. The phone. Pero maraming oh, beses because see? Roger was very strict. He made me do <laughs> to improve some of the lines, and I appreciate that. Yeah, if you were in a recording studio, walang problema yon because may interaction uh -huh. tayo face to face tayo. You can finish the recording in three hours, okay? Because if there's a mistake, you can direct it. Oh, Nancy, pakiulit lang itong certain segment, parang medyo ganong yun. Pero ngayon pandemia, so a lot of people ask me to. Eh, how did you record voices? Because I've been doing lots of collaboration with a lot of artists from around the world. Okay? Wow. So how, how do we get to do that? So I send them the minus one, the files, no? Or online. Lots chat online. And then if they have a recording setup, fine. And some of these people doesn't have even a, a DAW or an audio interface in their computer. So what they use, oh, sige na. Gawitin mo na lang cell phone mo. Cell phones, so they have two cell phones, one for listening to the minus one and one for recording their raw voice. It's important that they record their raw voice. Walang music na kasama. Raw voice uh, in sync with the minus one that they're listening to the headset. And then pinapadala sa akin. So I kind of mix them, make it more uh, equalizer, compressor, reverb, all of those effects, effects. And then that's it. We have a recorded song. Then, then the recorded song is, you have to have, how do you distribute that? Okay. Oh, oh Papa. Uh, Shep, you want more people to listen to your song. Siyempre naman, pa, ang pangit naman kung ikaw lang makikinig at yung airpot mo, airmat mo lang makikinig, di ba? So, <laughs> Nowadays, you don't share files anymore because that's why the music apps, the Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, Tidal, they were there to curb piracy. No, we don't want to share files anymore. You just stream the music from those music apps. Now, how do you get your song to be up there, some of the music apps? You get a music distributor. Now, I subscribe to DistroKid. Ako, kailangan pala pasalamatin ako ng DistroKid dito kasi promotion. Anong pangalan? DistroKid? DistroKid? DistroKid. D, uh, D as in Denmark. D-I-S-T-R-O. K-I-D. Kid. K. DistroKid. Distro Kid. Okay. Yes. They're one of the biggest. Actually, they, they have uh, investment in Spotify, I think. So, if you're going to get one, it's more like a yearly thing that you pay. Subscribe. You have to subscribe to it at very small amount. We're talking about uh, 2,000 pesos a year. Ito, okay naman. Ito yan. Ito yan. No? This, uh, wait, ah. That's right. That's right. This show kid. Okay. Okay. You pay. And ang maganda dito, unlimited. You can, you can publish a lot of songs, no? Basta as long as per year may subscription ka. Ayun o, oh, uh, 19.99 to upload oh. unlimited album and songs. Wow. All right? uh, and, and then, they will distribute your music to all or to most of the music apps. All right? Uh, upload ka ngayon. Actually, in four days' time, if it gets approved, kapag walang problema, no? kasi they the distributor will still check kung tama yung artwork, uh, hindi mo kinopya yung kanta, it's on your own song, tapos the sound recording is good, 
or acceptable at their end. Kung walang problema, within four to five days, it's already on YouTube and on Spotify. Kakasabay yan, no? Unless na you uh, put a launch date. Uh, let's say a launch date uh, after two weeks, it has to be in all apps. Pwede na lang gawin yun. So may launching date. Pero if walang launching date, uh, you want to be uploaded um, as soon as possible, then pwede rin. No? In four to five days, it's already there in the music apps. And then, what's so, nice question, is get, um, yeah. question, right. quick question, quick question. On the quality of the audio that you need to publish. So in video, di ba, merong HD, my 4K. In audio, what's the minimum quality you should uh, record in to publish? Um, ako kasi I use uh, 24-bit, 48 kilohertz WAV files. All right. But okay. you can do 16-bit. So you can do 16-bit, 44 kilohertz. Okay. Pero okay. WAV file, do not use MP3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. WAV compressed file. Uh, it has to be the original raw file. Mas maganda yung original raw file. And you trust naman your distributor. That's why you have a music distributor. If okay. you don't trust na uh, you will just give a compressed file, it will not sound nice, di ba? You know okay. yun. And, then, and you yeah. used uh, Audition ba? Uh, what uh, to publish the audio? Uh, okay, I used Pro Tools. Yeah. That's the industry standard. Kasi Pro I'm Tools. doing film, Pro Tools. film scoring. Oh, that's the industry standard. You have okay. to pay for for that. No, oh, wala na hindi bawal ba, bawal yung mga ano. But you can use other ano. You can use Audacity. That's a free oh, Audacity, one. Audacity, uh, the free oh, one. Oh, for for you don't have to spend that much. Uh, I think marami mga libreng tools. Although may mga limitations like you can only use four to five eight instruments. Yung mga ganyan. Uh, okay. But Try try it out. Pagdating sa mga ganyan, uh, ano. But one thing is important, ha? You have to have an audio interface. No? Yan yung uh, pinaplug in mo yung microphone mo. Okay? Okay? And pinaplug in mo yung keyboard mo dyan sa, sa audio inter... Uh, actually, you plug it in your keyboard. No? Uh, the audio interface will make your recording quieter and more okay. professional professional sounding. You try to invest on that. Uh, audio Kuma interface. Sound card, no? Sound card. Yeah, yeah. Eight, oh, kasi, eight. That, that's right. Because the, the laptop contains only the minimal sound card standards. Okay? Hindi naman ganun talaga for, 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 you need to have a separate gadget for that. Yun lang. And you also have to have, if you're singing, a good condenser mic. Okay? A mic condenser. No? Yeah, Pero, you can um, search. Question. Uh, bawal ang cover songs? Yeah. Uh, well, you have to pay. Dapat original, original lahat. Paano ba? Oh, you have to pay. Ako, I don't do cover songs because primarily because you don't own the copyright. It's not your original song. Uh, sa Spotify, as a district kid, you can put up cover songs but you have to have a certain fee. Magabay ka pa ng extra so that they will pay for the owner of the song, the copyright owner of the song. So sila magbabayad. Uh, hindi ko na masyadong pinag-aaralan okay. because That's I don't good. do cover songs at wala akong pera to pay for the <laughs> for the copyright. You know, it's very important uh, that it has to be original. Even in film scoring, there was one time I tried to make, uh, alam niyo yung Bahay Kubo, Bahay Kubo. Uh -oh. yes, yes. So ginawa akong jazz and I thought I could just place it in the film kasi kailangan ng, ng medyo familiar na song doon eh. Pero ginawa kong jazz version. Aba, mukhang, na, mukhang pinagalitan ako ng Philscap kasi hindi pa raw copyright free yung Bahay Kubo. <laughs> hindi pa ba? Hindi pa ba 50 years? Hindi. Ano? Hindi. hindi. Ay, so, so I was old. Huh? Hindi, buhay pa yata. Or I, I don't know, hindi pa siya... Hindi pa siya 50 years. So sabi ko, ay, oh. talaga? I am sorry. So pinatawang ko yung ano. So you have to make sure that uh, it's in already in the public domain. But that's the problem eh. Sa Philippines kasi, wala tayong website to check 
the public domain of Filipino songs. I don't think we have. You have to check it pa with Phil Scott. Sa America, all you have to do is search the song sa public domain website. Tapos kung nandun, then you're free to see, to use it. That's why I was able to make a Christmas, some Christmas covers during Christmas time. Kasi alam kong hindi ako papatayin sa copyright, no? Kasi they are in the public domain. So you have to, dito lang sa Philippines ang wala. That's, that's my hinanakit. Eh. They should have a public domain for Filipino songs. Oo. Ang film, eh, ikaw, ikaw, hindi nagpa-publish ba? Kung, hindi, kung you, have to, you have to email them pa. And then they will <laughs> verify for how many days. Minsan, naabot ng one week, two weeks before they come to you. Ay, sorry po, you have to pay us. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, ano, it's kind of taxing and not that convenient. Okay? okay. So, sana mag-isip sila where you could place all the Filipino songs na nakapapit. Kung meron man. But I'm sure there, there are some, some songs that you could use. Uh, so, right. I have a question. Sige, yeah. Nancy. Um, I remember, sino yung Roger? Who was that composer, yung Tagalog? He, he had something like 100 songs na hindi pa alam kung publish. Is siya yung kumakanta with the da dahon? Mm, I'm not so sure. Anong kanta kaya yun? <laughs> so, so, so what about him? What about him? No, I wanted to know kasi meron siyang song about Shopao and all these other foods na hindi na oh, talaga okay. na-publish. Uh, kilala siya. Oh. Mamaya, maaalala ko. Senior okay. moment. Senior moment. Oh, okay. oh. We'll, wait, but, uh, we'll but, say but, hi to we'll say hi to Marinong uh, uh, Cusinero in YouTube. And uh, and of course to those all watching in uh, Kumu, no, uh, Kim Lucas, uh, Evangeline, etc. Christian. So, yon. So we're uh, talking to Roger. How do you publish? So, nandrito na tayo sa juicy part. Pani commission rates bayan? And uh, is that a consideration when you publish? Oh, hindi. You just publish it lang yeah. and then the commission later on. Na. Yeah. Uh... Uh, before, uh, before, kasi when we have a publisher, they give you an upfront pera or for for the oh, song, yes. and oh, then diba? parang yung balay yung ba initial initial payment mo, so you got let's say five thousand pesos, <laughs> or depending kung sino artist ka, <laughs> and then after that, uh, they they will monitor the sale of the CDs, and after that, uh, if they get back on you, then that's good, okay. Uh, they will monitor the sales and everything, okay? Uh, pero ngayon, uh, it's streaming revenues. Like from DistroKid, I get monthly statistics on how much, let's say, per transaction. Because you have to have at least 30 seconds of uh, streaming transaction to be considered as a transaction. Okay, okay. kailangan i-play mo ng 30 seconds yung kanta. Kung less than 30 seconds yung kanta mo, yun ang problema. <laughs> no, but most of the songs are like 2 minutes or 3 minutes. Okay. Uh, if they played, uh, lalabas siya sa statistics, all of those uh, stats will be there. Kung let's say Apple Music, how many transactions and how much revenue you get. Now, it really depends. The revenue per transaction depends on the music app. Sa Spotify, uh, don't, be, uh, no, uh, don't be surprised. It's 0. 000 0.00038. Estimate lang to. 0. 0.0038 cents. US cents per stream. Can you imagine how much will that if you got like 1,000 streams? Medyo maliit pa rin, di ba? Kailangan mag maliit 1 million. Na. Yeah, so that's why sabi ko, oh my God. And then, syempre, if I get those streaming revenues, I have to share it with my artist. Hindi lang sa iyan. Paano yung sharing? Oh, paano yung sharing? May agreement ka separately. It yeah, separately. Depende din sa iyo yun. For example, I'm only the music composer. Meron akong kumanta, may singer. Merong lyricist. So sabihin natin, 33% kami, bawat isa. Yan, para equal-equal. It really depends on your negotiation with with the, your collaborators. But ako... Ako, I really don't mind so much kasi wala naman talaga ako masyado makukuha dyan. <laughs> Unless na yung pinakanta ko ay si Regine Velasquez o kaya si, ano, yun, some big name stars. Okay, siguro. Pero 
uh, well, my artists are the, my young artists that I employ are very good singers. So, they just um, need a lot of exposure. So, uh, for the adobo song, maybe you can share or secret bayan or uh, paano arrangement. So, <laughs> oh, uh, si yeah. songer si ano songer si Nancy and then an paano bang paano nangyare? Pero oh, sing okay. it then, muna. Then, Sing it muna. Si Levi Celerio pala and he wrote 4,000 songs. Oh. Nash- Nash- oh Nash- Levi Celerio. Nash- Sabi Nash- ni Vince Nash- Samson, Levi Celerio. Yeah. Oh. And sana uh, is he in, you know, in Spotify? Nasa Spotify uh, ba siya? Yes. He was, his name was placed in the Guinness Book of World Records. I, I and love you know, that. Sorry to say, he did not die. He died not a millionaire, huh? It was a sad. Ano. Levi, Levi Salerio composed a lot of Tagalog songs. Yes. Uh, a, lo, a lot yes. of songs. Which I. Tapos iba talaga ang lyrics ni Levi Salerio. Talagang ibang klase. No? Yeah. And uh, George. George Canseco is another one. George Canseco. George Canseco. Actually, he composed music and lyrics. No? Yes. Tapos talaga, ang, ang, ang music ni George Canseco, ibang klase. I mean, some are even hard, hard to sing, but some are really commercially sounding. Pero ang lyrics niya, it's really like a, a, a poem, an art poem. Ang ganda ng mga takbo ng kanyang ano, mga rhyming and everything. So, ay nako. Okay. Going yes. back to the adobo song, uh, adobo song, oh, paano yung okay. arrangement? Yeah, paano yung naging arrangement? Uh, so, actually, the lyrics were made first. And then, based on the lyrics, I really, the melody was flowing fast, mabilis lang. And then, I comp- I have the melody on my mind, dinigay ko lang sa chords and everything. And then, then after that, we have the arreglo. We wa- I want it a little bit funny kasi... Based on... Oh, Nance, sino ba nag-arrange nung ano? Who, the, who arranged? The, who else but Roger? I just gave him, ano, uh, actually, I wrote the lyrics in one sitting. Kasi ando na eh, matagal na nasa mind ko. Yung, that's why I asked him, do you do you do you dream of that? My, I was dreaming already of the of the lyrics. Ah. Tapos pumasok si DTI. So I said, "Teka muna, bubuhin ko tong kanta as I reply to DTI standardization." <laughs> Tapos uh, si Roger naman, he was nice enough to make ano to siguro to agree or ano sige sa sige. And then he he did it. But when I gave him the, the words and I said, um, siya na, that everything was his already. Siya na yung uh, direction. Direction na niya. Wow. And of course, we will get to hear it uh, at the end of this uh, conversation. Hello. Hello. I'm Hi. back. Oh, yeah. Ako, okay. ako ba yung nawala? Uh-oh. Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, I'm kin- sorry. Uh, tinuloy naman ni Nancy yung kwento. Alright, so, okay. so apparently you're all the arranger, composer, uh, <laughs> ano ba, producer there, uh, and, and then uh, Nancy is the lyrics plus the singing, correct? And also the co-producer, kasi the co-producer. She, 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 she recorded her own voice at her own home. <laughs> 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 on nag naghirap pa yan pumunta pa yan sa closet you know and then syempre after that there will be a lot of to and fro messages diba okay mar- maraming oh, you record this part kasi medyo maingay uh, para may second voice tayo all right and all of this uh, you have to lay out in pro tools i use pro tools as my uh, daw the Kumbaga, yan yung software na ginagamit ko. Uh, and then, lay over, lay over, lay over, and all of that. Then you have to mix it. Mixing is very important, okay? So, kasi kung hindi pangit ang mix mo, pangit lalabas. Okay? And then, ayun. Then you have the recorded song. Ganun. It, it yeah. takes a little bit. Oh, 
No, medyo medyo technical ah. Kaya nga that's why I really love it kasi I'm I'm doing a laptop tapos treating naman ko yung graphics, everything. I, I, it's very meticulous kaya sometimes sa papagod rin yung mata ko kasi aside from the creativity you have to be technically sound eh. Oo, pati yung yung tenga mo, nako kailangan maganda pa rin ang pagrinig mo. Okay? Uh-huh. Then, kasi imi-mix mo yan, pan to the left, pan to the right, o itong boses niya, pan to the right para maging dialogue siya, left and right. No, There are a lot of things that you can do. Actually, nabibutify mo yan through, through, through the software na lang. Eh. Napapaganda mo yan. Eh. Oh. Pero maganda talaga boses ni Aunt Nancy. Parang, originally. parang Photoshop of the voice. Pina-photoshop mo. <laughs> Pina-pa-auto-tune mo. Hindi, sekreto yun, sekreto. I learned from Roger, sabi niya, if you're going to record, you have to remember that the distance that you had yes. para ano, hindi mala- malakas, mahina. It's the same. Oo, kasi sometimes you will record the next day or after two days. Now, kung binago mo yung distance mo ng mic, there's going to be a difference in quality quality ng recording. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng isama doon sa original take mo. Parang, uy, nagbago yung quality. Medyo lumayo ka. Lumayo. So, naging echo na. Oo, parang hindi na isang take. Kasi ang, we're trying to think of it as one take lang, eh, di ba? Pag, pag rinig ng audience, kailangan, oh, isang parang kinanta ng live o parang diretso lang ang pagkakanta. Pero actually, it's a series of the takes. Naku, Nancy, nalalaman na yung mga sekreto natin. <laughs> Maraming lalapit sa iyo for that to make their own jingle. I'm sure. Oo nga, I'm I'm so inspired na nga eh on how to do it. Maybe uh do you want Nancy to sh- uh show the adobo song or later on? Let's listen muna to some of his ano of his jingles kasi oh, sige. Like the Heinz, I haven't heard that in a long long uh, time. No, okay, the Heinz is a musical background. Actually, what they did there is they they shot the Heinz ketchup, pero they used uh, they used a uh, American music gumawa. Oh, ngayon and they we, they they want the ad to be implemented in Asian countries in Malaysia. They have to pay so much money to the U.S. composer because yun yung original. So they asked me oh. to do it libre, kasi taga Heinz ako. Ah. <laughs> so, Wow. So, nakalibre pa sila kasi hides ako. So, what I did is just like parang film scoring. I look at the visuals. Okay. Then I compose the melody. Let, let me take a look at uh, oh, how can, can I share can this. Share it, yeah. All right. You're in the show. The, the so, music of Roger Singson. <laughs> share screen. Take note, I'm spelling Hindi sing song. Like the one oh, I did. Right. Sing song. So I guess those who are are interested in asking him to to compose, to Uh-oh. do it. Ata, ata, ata na. Eh. Okay. Wait. Can you hear it? No. And they share. You have to share it. Share it first. Wait. Uh... Share the stream yard. Uh. <clears throat> While you're doing that, temperamental ba ang mga composer? Diba? Malamang. But anyway, <laughs> speaking of Levi Celerio, oh. he, I know I know he did something on Shopa o Bibingka, yung mga ganun, meron siya talagang ano. Talaga. Ay, kilala mo ba siya, Anton? Or hindi? No, oh, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He was the guy who would play music with a uh, dahon. He'll uh, use it as an okay. instrument. All right. Okay. Let's listen to it. Wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ay, did, ay, walang audio. Did you share the audio? You have to click the share audio. Try to share it again. Hindi, sa StreamYard. <clears throat> huh. 
Heinz tomato ketchup. <clears throat> uh, you can't hear the audio? No. Uh, oh, no. You have to share it. Uh, may, uh, when you share in uh, StreamYard, meron check button yung share audio. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, to stop sharing muna and then share. Share screen. Yes. So, uh, for those watching... Share audio, uh, okay. Uh, so, we're listening to the music of Roger Singson and uh, who is the uh, composer also of the Adobo song Cha-Cha-Cha with uh, Nancy. So, <clears throat> Yon, all right. Um, now, how do you play? Wait, uh, mm. wait, I have to go to the file. Yes. And then okay. play it. Play it. And yeah, don't can you hear it? A replay, so yeah, yeah. You saw it? Can you hear it? Yes. At Heinz, we believe it's important to know exactly where the ingredients for your tomato ketchup come from. And that's why every tomato in every bottle of Heinz tomato ketchup has been grown by Heinz from the sea. No one grows ketchup like Heinz. So, uh, if you're if you're gonna see it, uh, I start with the you know just piano. No, when when the plant is growing, pa, okay, you start its small uh, soft music. Uh, so, well, the solo instruments, and then it builds up. No, when when it's grown to a full plant. No, Parangalan. Okay, you wanna hear a double cha cha cha? Yes! Ready, Nancy? Taka, kakantahin ko, no? An, an tawag doon? Plus one? <laughs> plus one na lang. Wala. Try to say it. Kakantahin mo, syempre. Oh, Alright. Live. Maybe, Wait, Roger, uh, uh, can you introduce this adobo song para before, ano? Yes. Uh, I, adobo cha-cha. Uh, uh, sorry. Adobo cha a cha, cha Okay? That's the, that's the song. Uh, a new song of uh, of Nancy Reyes Lumen. It's also it's already available in all music apps. You just uh, type in Nancy Reyes Adobo. Lalabas na dapat yon. With credits, Hello? of course, to Roger. And then at the end, yeah. merong film am na nagspina <laughs> pinasalita ako about Adobo to really use his accent because he didn't really know how to pronounce. Adobo. <laughs> right, right. And her, his name is Anthony Guevara. Guevara. Ah, Guevara. Guevara. Anthony oh, Guevara. Anthony Guevara. <laughs> Anthony. Oh, you know, you know. Anthony yes. Guevara. Okay, let's play it. Wait, let's so, play it. I got gutom, I decided I will cook. What ulam will that be? I'll get my recipe book. Aha, on page 88, slow cook a dobo now. Tagal the cooking time, like pin tilagang somehow. Okay lang with me, as long as it's sarap. I'll start the right away. Make hundreds of cups, suka and toyo first. Then bawang and the well, the dad, the paminta. That's it, sige, I won't tell. Each time you go to a double, you have to sing and dance. Stand up to make a pop on all your hearts and bands. Okay, listen now, watch me. This is how you dance. A double, cha, a cha, cha. A double, cha, a cha, cha, cha. A double, cha, a cha, cha. A double, cha, a cha, cha. A double, a double. Do na 
si adobo, tara na, let's kain na. Go get your anim, they're all sa kusina. It's only, don't you know? Come on, come on, let's go. Sabi ni Adobo Queen, let me tikim yo cooking. Oh, it's maalat and maasim, like me, may asim pali. Bam! Each time you cook Adobo, you have to sing and dance. Sand up to make pop pop on all the pots and pans. Okay, now listen and watch me. This is how you dance. A dofo, cha a cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha cha. A cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha. A dofo, cha a cha cha. A do, a do be, a do be. Adobo, adobo, c a a do do bo, adobo bo. Nanti, alright. Ano, refrain naman na a capella para baka akala nila hindi ko. Ah, hahaha. Ito lang sang refrain. Yung pok pok, ano yun? Yung pok pok. Pok pok to make eh sandok to make pok pok. On all your pots and pans. Bosses ko yan. With the, with the guidance of ano, Roger. <laughs> si Roger okay. was the one, you know, you really have to follow. You cannot just say, I wanna sing it this way. No, there are certain disciplines that you have to do and to follow. Because in the end, you're not the, you're not the only artist involved. It's really the composer. Oh, pero Roger, dapat cha-cha ba to or hindi? Parang reggae. Ano ba ano ba nangyari? Follow exactly uh, a cha-cha thing, okay? Because uh, it has this Sinasayaw ko yung cha-cha, nasasayaw naman eh. So you make your own. You, you don't have to conform to any kind of genre. Ako I just do whatever I want to do. Kaya nga, somebody told me when they listen to my music, oh no raw, iba-ibang klase yung naririnig nila. May babilis, may jazz, may ballad, may classical. So, hindi ako, I don't want to go to stick to one genre. Okay? So, music is everything. It's gonna be a boring world if you only hear classical music or you only play hear puros rap songs, di ba? So, mas maganda varied ang yeah. ang music, di ba? Uh, may mga uh, questions pala. Yeah. Sandali, uh, meron, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick it up. Uh, but, uh, Joma, the Potato Corner, baka may Potato Corner song na tayo. Oh, after ito, gawin na, na yan! <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what's his question? What's his question? And then, ano uh, question si Marinero Cusinero. Sabi niya, much better, of course, with the original Adobo Queen. No? So, ang question niya, <laughs> have you voice lessons si before, Chef? You have an excellent voice. Baka hindi nila alam. You're I a band to... I think kasi yeah. with the band, Nat music making natural company, yan, natural. Matches, yan. At saka bata pa kumakanta na kami. I have a question, which is very oh. uh, trendy now. When, let's say, a class reunion, nagkakanta kami lahat isa-isa sa Zoom. Pero how do you get that uh, into one song na, na coordinated lahat? Al al alam mo, pagdating dyan, wala akong alam. <laughs> Sa mga Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. I haven't done uh, a choir set up na Ayun, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Yeah. I I'm sure meron, meron yan. Uh, you just Google. I haven't done it. Alright? Because uh, okay. hindi pa naman ako nag-arrange ng choir for my own song. Okay? okay. And I don't, want, I, I don't wanna do cover songs kasi kailangan may bayad dyan. Babayaran mo yung Oh, yung, hindi, oh, no. so, uh, hindi ko na nire-research kasi I'm not into that yet. Maybe in the future, you know. 
But, question. But that's question. interesting. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Question. Why uh, outside the, uh, the in the US, you know, the composer are very um, you know popular. But here, parang hindi masyadong naano yung composer. Is that changing ba? Uh, the treatment of the composer versus like the artist? Uh, uh, depends. Eh. Kasi usually, may mga composers din sa, sa US na they, they're still starving artists. No? It really depends okay. kung, kung may pangalan ka na. If you're John Williams, for example, for a film scoring, eh, talagang every film project niya, ma- 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 mahal ang bayad sa'yo. Pero, yung mga Filipino indie film makers, how much do they pay? The, minsan nga, libre lang yan eh. Di ba? Pro bono lang minsan. Oh. In fact, yung, they don't give so much importance to the music. Makikita mo, wala man lamang credits or something, naging spinner na lang or sound engineer. Kino, balik, what they do is they, they copy, they cut, paste, or they, they, they use existing songs from the labels and just place it in the you know that's not how i work uh ako i make original songs i make original music and hindi ako uh kumuko ng copyright songs or whatever popular that's songs good. and and there's one question that i want to ask the indie filmmakers why does at the ending of the film always ends up with the theme song <laughs> bakit palagi may kanta may kanta sa at the ending of the pelikula. Well, if it's important to the film, fine. Pero kung maglalagay ka lang ng kanta dyan, just for the sake, ay para maging popular yung movie natin, lagyan natin ng theme song. Yeah, uh, eh, that's, it should be relevant to the ending of the film if you're going to put a theme song at the ending of the film. Anyway, that's an, another story. <laughs> so, um, Roger, um, if, if uh, people use your music, let's say the Adobe yeah. song, uh, in a cover in a YouTube video, diba, for example. So you get the rights for that also? Pa- ba yun? Uh, you know, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, if you up in monetization, there's what you call monetization, uh-huh. may copyright claim. Ka, and I think you can play, but the ads will go to the com- copyright oh, owner. Uh-huh. Oh, yung ad revenues naman, jan chan ka, jan ka, nag earn eh. It will okay. go to the composer if you opt in uh, for that monetization. Uh, uh, so you should be careful, lang, be careful lang with those copyright okay. songs. On the other hand, let's say the composer made a jingle or ano, tapos meron na palang ganon, ng opya lang pala siya. Who gets sued? Pag magkaroon ng, uh, what do you call that? Libel? It's not libel, ano? Copyright. Do, does oh, the composer kasi, get sued and together with the singer and the lyricist, lahat yan? Um, I, I don't know kung may nangyari ng case, but I'm sure they they get warnings. Uh, kasi it's not enough that you credit the composer. Uh, sasabihin mo, uh, the song is by ganun-ganun, dalagay mo dun sa video. Hindi lang... Meron pang what you call that mechanical licenses. Eh. You have to pay. You have to ask permission, number one. And you have to pay. Kung libre, pinag-usapan yung libre with the composer, then that's fine. Libre siya. Oh, pero you have to ask permission and ask if if may kailangang bayaran. So you just don't use cover songs. Now, if that happens, I'm sure they get warnings. I I, I don't know that kung may nangyari na talagang ganyan, that they have to, uh-huh. to be... You know, okay. no? Pero we should be careful kasi kawawa naman yung mga composers. Mga composers. Wala na masyadong wala na masyadong kinikita tapos gagamitin oh, zero, pa yung zero, kanta. Zero. Oo. oo. Ay, oh. Kawawa naman. So, eh, question, eh, Roger. Oh. Question. Um, how do you uh, how do you select the artists you work with or the projects you work on? I mean, what's your uh, because uh, some people may be watching uh, in this live stream, no? Uh, meron ka bang like a certain genre that you want to do? Do you do political or, ads or ano ba? Or wala? Basta may pera, kaya rin? Or pa, paano ba? Kahit, o, kahit, wala, kahit walang pera, pwede rin. Okay. Uh, I, 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 ka, don't say that. No, kasi ako, when I make songs, I make songs. Now, I will after that, when I made a song, I will try to think of sino ba magandang kumanta nito. Is it for a girl, for a guy? That's that's when, you, when you're doing a song approach, no? 
Pero when you're doing a jingle, syempre, at the start, sasabihin na sa'yo, we want a girl singing. Alam mo na kung ano yung peg. Eh. So that's a different case, no? But usually, when I just make a song, uh, um, first of all, the singer should be hindi siya tone deaf. <laughs> Mahirap yung tone deaf. Uh, kasi kapag, let's say, some of the kids that I work with, medyo maganda yung enthusiasm nila, no? yung mga bata. Talagang these are 8-year-old, 10-year-old kids. Pero wala pa sila yung talent talaga ng nasa tama bang nota. <laughs> yung yung bo, yung kanta so that's harder to do ang hirap na auto tune yun ng gagawin ko you can actually auto tune it but for, syllable by syllable you're going to fix the uh, ang hirap so as much as possible kailangan hindi ka tone deaf Kaya, and you prevent that a singer has to listen to a lot of songs maganda dapat ang pandinig niya and that's how you appreciate music, that's how you become a good singer. When you listen, you listen and then you try to copy first and you sing in melody in tama at the right pitch. Any more questions? Uh, yes, uh, TikTok uh, is a uh, disco kid, ano ba? Uh, yes, distro kid uh, distributes to TikTok. Natawa nga ako eh. Kasi nun, hindi naman ako naging TikTok. Pumunta ako sa TikTok app, tapos nakita ko, ang dami ko na palang kanta dito. <laughs> Meron kayang gumagamit. Ewan ko, parang wala. wala namang, hindi naman pang sayaw yung, di ba usually sa TikTok, yung mga uh, sayaw-sayaw na. Oh, hindi, ito ka adobo, adobo song. Ah, pwede, no, pwede. 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 So, I would expect a nice TikTok video from Nancy. Simulan mo na, Nancy. Uh, pwede na mag-video? Okay. Oo, uh, gawa ka ng TikTok video para at least may gumaya na sa'yo. <laughs> the double song was... challenge. Oh, 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 Nan, oh, we will, oh, we want to put up a a contest. We will, we will, ano, we we'll look for the mechanics muna. Ayan, dalawa na yung judge na anjan si Anton and si Roger. It should be there in TikTok. Uh. Oh, Grabe, yeah. no? Oh, the people galing. now they can do a lot of uh, revenues. No, so may revenues from TikTok. May revenues rin natin. I, I think so. I think so. And then, hindi pa na-implement, pati Facebook, magkakaroon yan eh. Magkakaroon Facebook ng mga music. music. Oh. There, there, are, there are a lot of new inventions. I was just listening to a, to a webinar la, last night. And then, hindi pa na-implement sa Philippines eh. Pero sa Facebook, magkakaroon sila ng Instagram, magkakaroon sila ng mga reels, video reels. Parang TikTok na rin ang gagawin nila eh. Uh, galing Ayun, yeah. So, uh, um, all right. instead... Uh, aside from uh, streaming revenue, do you earn from concerts or merchandise or anong? Uh, oh well, I, I'm not a perf- I'm not a performer. Uh, I'm not a concert performer. But some people do if they, you know, they actually get money from concerts. Pero ngayon meron tayong sessions live. Uh, people who, who are really into singing, no? Uh-oh. And uh, sessions live is like an app, parang Spotify pero video. And you go, you can go live and you can get money from that. Kailangan magbayad sila para oh, panoorin. Para kumurin, di ba? Para Meron. Oh, 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 para panoorin ka. So that's how you do it ngayong pandemic. Uh, wala na lang nagko-concert na live kasi wala Uh-oh. manonood. So you okay. just go online. Okay. Ma, last that's question it. from me. I, I know right. this has been a really good... Um, discussion no? and then we'll ask Nancy for her last question what do you think of nfts minting the songs into tokens uh and you know distributing it via non-fungible token as music uh, uh, wala yata ako, i am not so familiar with that ah, you're not <laughs> familiar with that okay nfts so, yeah, NFTs. you can uh, tokenize your song and then oh. people can yeah, buy okay. it via Ah, crypto. Ah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> parang ano, ha? Huh? Yeah, just to earn revenue. I'm not, I, I don't know if somebody <laughs> out there is going to buy my song. You know, question. <laughs> How do you tokenize your songs? Uh, so there are uh, a lot of, uh, kasi uh, a non-fungible token is really for, para ma-identify mo siya online. So it's a unique character. So you tokenize it with a unique uh, contract, smart contract. Uh, usually yeah. it's an uh, Ethereum. So for digital art, digital uh, images, even music actually. So some um, some uh, music platforms are getting into uh, ano, uh, NFTs, what? what they call NFTs. 
Uh, Anton, thank you for that. Ah. <laughs> that What's gives an me an idea. Ano Non-fungible yung... token. So parang it's a oh. unique identifier. Now, ang maganda lang with NFT, anywhere gamitin yung song will be tracked back to that uh, uh, NFT. Ayos! Okay. <laughs> Now, if you're going to go into that, it has to be a different song. Kasi my songs now are on Spotify. You can stream it free. Oh, so why would you buy oh, another okay. So you have to make another song just for that purpose. Uh, para uh-huh. exclusive lang. Exclusive lang for NFTs. Oh, ito, I have a special anniversary song. You can only listen to it through it. But that's a good idea. Uh-huh. I mean, and you in, should in be... The contract, in the contract, naka-specify kung ano yung commission rates ng singer from the composer, ganon. Uh, it's really mm. the, all the distribution platforms are getting to NFTs. Eh. What, what's the name of the most popular NFT app? May, uh, may name ba yan? Uh, OpenSea. If you go to OpenSea.com, uh, it's all open the... OpenSea spelled O-P-E-N-C-E-A. Oh, uh, oh, open C. Oh, okay. Open oh, C. Thanks, thanks, Anton, for the idea. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ah. Sorry, wala akong alam dyan sa mga ganyan. Parang bago lang yan, eh. Parang no, but but it's really good for original works, ah. For original works, it really is very helpful. So, that includes uh, painting, photography, or what? Hindi, digital, ganun, digital, or... digital. Digital. Digital what? Uh, music. Digital uh, paintings, uh, digital uh, drawings. Yeah, of course, digital. Uh, ah, okay, all right, yes, all right. Yes, yes. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. So good, so good idea, good idea. Yeah, some, <laughs> so some idea. Uh, no. so uh, 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 no, Antol, were you able to get able to get something out of our discussion? Would you be able to make a song later on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I wanted to create an. Because awesome Anton wants to make a song, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That because That's good. Know, If it's a spiritual song, there's a lot of material no, in I, I want to do ah. an OPM song and a praise song. Uh, like a cultural song for the Philippines. If, uh, Wh- if the- Nazi would do uh, all, uh, let's say, if Nazi would do all uh, Filipino cooking, food, we'll, we'll go oh. all the destinations, diba? Yeah! Sige. Yes! Oh, minsan, I mean, minsan, Anton, call up tayo. You, you send me your nice poem and I can easily make it into a oh, song. Sige, sige, sige. Call up tayo. Oh, okay, that's thanks, good. Thanks. Okay, okay. Any, any final questions? I have a question. Um, Will there ever be a scholarship for talented young um, uh, uh, future composers now who don't have the means or who don't have the in- instruments or the, the mechanics? Pero sana, is there a like, uh, yung Mowell Fund Meron bang gano'n na pwedeng i-train? Sometimes may magaling talaga na, you know, may may tenga, may may owido. Pero walang pera. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. But that's a that's a good idea yung offering free scholarships for for students, no? Who are interested in music, composition and all of that. Um I don't know if uh this existing uh, Music studios offer scholarships. You know, you know, concern for whom. I think they should. Because you know, oh. the Filipino that he's a musical, ano eh, musical spirit, ang Filipino eh. Right, right, diba? right. That's how oh. we cope with our lives. For a music composer, I think it's important that you learn one instrument. Ah, Kung composer ka, okay. this one instrument. So some oh. people they don't, they don't know, so they have to hire an arranger. To do the the music accompaniment for them. Pero mas maganda if you learn how to play p- guitar, piano, whatever instrument at least para it can accompany your your melody yeah. what you have in mind. Yeah. All right, all right. Anton, uh, thank, thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Thank, thank you, Anton, for giving me the opportunity to share whatever uh, you know I have to share. <laughs> And it's all in the mind. Yeah, and abangan yung kantang sinigang, gagawin din ni Roger. Yung BTS, barbecue, tinola, sisig. Ay, yung mga yan. Nako, lalo mapapakain ka niyan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It has to be Muna, ad- after sinigang, sisig. Oh. It has to be a delightful song. Okay. Oh, so, delightful. all you creators there, try to, ano, ngayong pandemic, wala kayong magawa sa bahay. 
you're, you're, you're at home and you're, you wanted to do something that's kind of inspiring at nakakabusog sa puso, ah, sa puso, wala sa pera, puso muna. You do songs, create songs. And so easy to do now. Now, with all the gadgets, free, free stuff, flying around, no? You can do it. That's all. Thank you, guys. Hello, all right. Mike, Thank you. Say, you know, you, a good ear is a talent given by the Lord, and you have to use it. If you know that yeah. you're good, huwag ka nang magpakyut na pahambol effect. Gamitin mo, or makikanta ka, or ishare mo. Especially a praise song is always coming with a blessing. So use the talent that you were given. Yes! Yes! All right. right. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. Please bye. share this for all the people that you think would learn from this episode. Maraming salamat. We'll do. Bye. We'll do. Bye. Uh, can you... 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 Uh, can you...